Hi, welcome to the Market Alert for Friday, 7th of December 2018. So yesterday in the pound, uh, you can see the market sideways to lower. And the pound yesterday is uh, trying to move back to the upside, actually making a higher high than the previous bar. However, the market coming off this and then moving lower on the overnight. And again, the Brexit uh, vote is uh, this coming Tuesday, so the market uh, slightly undecided on which direction to take at the moment. So no surprise there. So yesterday we had uh, a buy signal market bouncing off the 127 level, that's the red line there. Eventually uh, going through to the 127.50, coming back below the 200 bar moving average uh, temporarily to the close of uh, Wednesday and then continuing to move higher and trading up to the 128 level there. Overnight the market uh, sideways to low, you can see it uh, rounding off and heading back to the downside there. And uh, news items today whilst they're here on the charts, uh, not a lot. We've got uh, the criminal outfit uh, OPEC meeting and then we've got uh, the non-farm payroll uh, numbers there out uh, today as well. So keep an eye on those at uh, 1.30. Uh, to see uh, how the market uh, reacts to those. Yesterday in the Dow, we'll talk about the plunge uh, protection team coming to the rescue. This is uh, Thursday's uh, price action. You can see the market there dropping sharply. A lot of volume here, possibly the highest uh, for some time. And uh, inside of all of this, uh, below the 200 bar moving average, the market uh, moves lower by several hundred points. So get you the range here from the high down to the low there, uh, 432 points before the plunge protection team steps in and drives the market back. It's the 200 bar moving average goes through, hit with the selling here as the market comes off the highs, uh, volume higher than the previous bar, selling pressure there, market comes back and eventually breaks through and they move the market to the upside. However, if you look at the overnight prices uh, moving sideways to lower, still below the 200 bar moving average. And I'm going to remove uh, these for the time being just to make things look a bit uh, clearer. Uh, watch uh, the 76% retracement. The market could go quite easily go back through this and then a retest of these lows. So let's mark up the low here which you can see the market uh, came down to yesterday and with the help of the plunge protection team bounced off this uh, area what if there's any potential upside well the 200 bar moving average is in the way it's got to take this out and um, we'll see what they make of the non-farm payroll figures and how they're going to use this to drive the market to the upside but watch the 200 bar moving average if you get uh, any sort of positive news with regards to this. And uh, meanwhile, in uh, Bitcoin, 76% uh, has been taken out. As I said before, watch for this. And if we break the 76, we break the low. We broke the low uh, on the overnight, and no doubt we're going to continue lower, which means that we have to move to the weekly chart now to see where the downside is going to be in this market. And we're looking at the 3000 level or just below it before prices uh, start to really accelerate to the downside as uh, Bitcoin continues to lose its uh, value here. And that's uh, it uh, for this quick roundup uh, of events. Watch for the non-farm payroll figures. Uh, pound I would expect to remain sort of sideways to lower with uh, the uh, prospect of the uh, Brexit vote in the House of Commons uh, this coming Tuesday and uh, Bitcoin still under pressure to move low to shake out the week longs before this market can turn around and move back to the upside. And with that, uh, have a great weekend. As ever, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.